thing. That's in addition to remember, astrology t demonstrates those two things. Who, it answers two questions: Who am I, and what's going to happen to me? On the horoscopes here, we talk about because horoscopes, duh. <laughs> it's like it's uh, when we do the horoscopes, we talk about what's going to happen to you, not like. Like, I, so many people, when they do weekly horoscopes, they talk about what's going to happen to who am I? That's so mental. <laughs> like, what's going to happen to who am I? <laughs> so, you're going to go through this emotional cycle. <laughs> you know, they talk about, but it's two separate questions. Who am I? And what's going to happen to me? The who am I, you're in control of that, right? So forget about the who am I part for a second. Let's just think about what's going to happen to me part of astrology. And... These, these are cycles that happen, and they're timing. We use astrology to time things. And things that traditionally happen under Mercury retrograde are going to happen again. And I'm not talking car accidents and computer crashes, although that's a possibility. So, to say possible, but not necessarily so. so. But what I'm saying is, just keep something in mind. The last time there was a Mercury retrograde, you guys had the... Um, I think it was the release of the Mueller inquiry in the United States. They released the Mueller inquiry in the United States. So I would very much expect, and then stuff dragged on, right? Mercury retrograde makes things drag on. So I very much expect something like that to happen again during this Mercury retrograde. Because that's a cycle. You know, these cycles, they happen like that. It's something like that's going to happen again. Something like that's going to happen again. It's going to happen that's the timing of it that's what to keep your eyes open for you know so whatever happened these this these things happened so whether you you were forced to do something or whether um you succeeded in something you attempted to do you see guys i don't think you understand you always you always succeed in what you do it's very simple uh if you're like i just ran the marathon so you succeed in what you're going to do. So I succeeded in running that marathon in four hours and 14 minutes. Had I trained differently, maybe I would have succeeded in running the marathon in three hours and 45 minutes. Had I trained differently yet again, maybe I run that marathon in five, six hours. Or I, I succeed, you know, you succeed in everything you do. If you study effectively at school, you can succeed in getting really high marks. You know, you could do quite well academically. If you fail to apply yourself, if you don't study very well, you, you know, if you don't apply, you will succeed in failing that course. So if you uh, eat lots of junk food and, you know, you remain, you know, you have a sedentary lifestyle, you, you know, you're a bit of a drag ass, you just sit on the couch all the time, then you will succeed in being a fat cow. You know, if you don't, if you work out, if you go for a walk every day, you'll succeed in having a healthy life. And it's the same intellectually. If you just listen to everything and then repeat everything you hear, you'll succeed in being an idiot. If you have some uh, cognitive self-awareness, if you're mindful of yourself, then you'll have some self-awareness and you will succeed uh, intellectually. And so you're always succeeding in whatever it is you're doing very sincerely <laughs> like i don't think you, re you realize that but you are succeeding the universe is designed for you to succeed and you are achieving whatever it is that you set out to do it's that simple you know sometimes the world is against you and you know sometimes you need a little bit of an assistance but the world is is um you know you by and large you succeed in doing whatever it is that you try to do it's very simple it's that simple man all right that's right you have the deal you are in control of your own destiny you're supposed to succeed the universe is designed for you to succeed and whether you realize it or not you are succeeding at whatever it is that you attempt to do so that's the thing the problem is you guys don't always know what you're doing and that was the whole point of my hypnosis meditations and it's the success of the meditations that i created for you guys and this was the success of my hypnotherapy career to bring not necessarily bring you self-awareness, but to, the, to help the parts of you that you don't know, you know. You know, to remove some of that self-sabotage. We talked about this yesterday when we talked about um, getting...
getting your mind. You know, when we talked about eliminating the dual, you know, eliminating binary thinking, yes, no, not with yourself and the world, because really the world is inconsequential. You're going to surround yourself by, you know, reflected of within you anyway. So re forget about that. But the binary world within yourself, you know, the questions that, uh, you know, that, that um, conflict in a binary, your, your mental process, you know, your heart process, your gut check, you know, that, uh, that's, um, that add confusion and conflict to, you know, your chakras, if you want to call it like that, or, or, you know, to your thinking, you want to move, you know, you want your mind and your heart and your body and your soul to all be on the same page here. And anyways, you have an opportunity to do that right now with this particular new moon. So get out and do it. All right, everybody ready? Enough of that stuff. <laughs> so